stick around till the end of the video i have lot of live footage and also everything surprising that is packed in this video so please watch the video fully you know i'm going after that great planetary alignment one of those days where i take my telescope and i turn this into planetary mode i see like two planets three planets all the time now i'm seeing every planet in the list of uh, in the buttons i was like clicking one after the other and i was like oh my god every planet is there so not only it is there it is accessible for us to see it's not like one down there in the west and one in south or whatever these are all like lined up like a chorus line all the way from mercury to pluto is standing right in front of us so it is for us to watch i know without the telescope without the binoculars uh, the biggest planets that you can see would be uh, venus mars jupiter saturn definitely you can see it for the rest of the planets watch my video uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do i have lot of live footage so this morning i was trying to use the big frame camera and that didn't work so i actually changed it to a small camera it is becoming really difficult for me to put the planet into the camera i mean if you know like if you are holding a binoculars if you can't see it really uh, same with the telescopes and planets it's like really hard to take the telescopes there to the planets uh, i was so surprised actually to see mercury and venus so clear mercury is a very interesting planet it is not only so close to the sun it is one of the tiniest planet in our solar system we cannot see mercury normally in the sky because sun is so close to it once in a while sun is below the horizon and we can see mercury up and these are one of those days where we can actually see the mercury it is 69 million kilometers and since it is so close to the sun it orbits like in one third of the time so it takes only like 87 days for it to orbit around the sun it is so amazing that we can actually see a live image or the live view of this planet so the second planet that i was able to take the telescope is the second planet in the solar system i was able to show you the live view of venus venus is one of those beautiful planets extremely bright it is visible during the day like in the morning time and the evening time even though there is sunlight it's pretty small orbit compared to the earth it takes like 227 days to orbit the earth it is quite far it is like 107 million kilometers even though the venus is showing kind of a green color I was kind of wondering what the Venus is supposed to look like. So I was actually looking at the one of the stacking software and I was able to do an RGB balance and when I do an auto balance of RGB color I'm actually seeing how Venus should look like. This is the Venus that NASA took and it has that cloud cover on it. and this is the picture that we were able to take using our amateur telescopes i'm quite amazed by how much detail we were able to capture for venus hunting for mars is not an easy task even we have go to telescopes it is pretty elusive like these small planets all of them are they are not easy so you have to like really go push them into the camera so that actually you can take a picture of it here is the live view of the mars it is fourth planet from the sun the second smallest the colors on the mars is like vivid colors like red you can actually see the ice polar caps on the mars Uh, it's so beautiful actually one side of the mars is extreme red almost like looking like earth crust and the other side is basically kind of like a darkish color it has a long orbit of like 686 days almost double orbital period 
Uh, it is 249 million kilometers. Uh, it's amazing that we were able to take pictures of Mars and it looks fantastic when you actually get closer, uh, get a closer picture of the Mars. So Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It has so many moons. It has 60 moons and four of the largest moons. They are always available whenever we go to the Jupiter. With a very small telescope, you should be able to see the bigger moons of Jupiter. This is the live view of Jupiter. It's like almost like a sun. It has the hydrogen, it has the helium, a big gas giant. And without Jupiter being there so big, I don't think Earth is going to be there because it is the one that is protecting us from comets and asteroids. It orbits like 11 years almost. If you look at the distance from Sun to the Jupiter, it is 5.4 AU, which is an astronomical unit. An astronomical unit is the distance from Sun to the Earth. The distance from Sun to the Jupiter is 5.4 AU, it's like five times the distance from the Earth. It is quite far out there since it is so big. So Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It is also the second largest planet after Jupiter. People say if you look at Saturn in the telescope, there is no going back. You are hooked to the astronomy forever. Saturn has 83 moons. At least six of them show up all the time whenever you look through a telescope or with a powerful camera. The Saturn has that unique shape. The rings of the Saturn is the great feature that we always observe. It's so far from the sun. It's like nine astronomical units. That means it is like nine times the distance from sun to the earth. You actually start realizing how big our solar system is the moment you realize this, it's amazing that we were able to take a picture of Saturn. I was able to capture Uranus and Neptune and then I was able to see Pluto. So going to these distant planets like Uranus, Neptune and Pluto is an amazing experience, especially going to Pluto. Here is the live view of Uranus. Here is the eighth planet from the sun, Neptune. It's incredible how far we traveled into the solar system. It is 29 times the distance from Earth to the sun. We are now way further away from the sun. Some people call it this is the last planet and now we are going to the last planet. We call it Pluto. Going to Pluto is something else. So this is my Stellarium software where I connected my telescope to the software and I asked it to go to Pluto. But having a small sensor and a planet like a Pluto, I was never able to get there. But based on my experience going to the other planets, I was thinking I might be able to see the Pluto in my screen and to my surprise when the telescope slewed to Pluto I am seeing Pluto the smallest planet they don't even call this as a planet anymore so far out there every one of these planets are making us think that we are real and all these planets are showing that our solar system is out there. The rest of the planets are out there alongside with us. 
that means the entire universe is out there for us to explore i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do uh, thanks for watching